was staying with the aftermath of the off-cycle election conduct conducted on Saturday. Now, the candidate of the Social Democratic Party in the just-concluded governorship election in Kogi State, Motala Jaka, and his supporters stormed INEC headquarters in Abuja to protest co the conduct of Saturday's election. They also submitted their petitions against the just-concluded election in Kogi State, where they insist results from Okene, Okehi, Adavi, and others allegedly shows election malpractice, and the results were not collated in compliance with INEC guidelines. This said INEC chairman, Professor Yakub, Yakubu Mahmoud, had assured the people of Kogi State before the election that their votes will count, but that was not the case. The INEC commissioners who came to receive the petition promised that they will give it appropriate attention. What happened in Kogi State on 11, if INEC allowed it to stand, that means there is no democracy in Nigeria. A very red man like Professor Sani could compromise to this extent. He leaked the result sheet to Yayabelo and his gang before the election commenced. By 8 a.m. in the morning of Saturday, the people, the, the, the result in Okene, Okehi, Adabi, Ajokuta was already out before the commencement of the election. One of the vision of INEC is to be one of the best election management body that meets the yearning and aspiration of Nigerians. And I want to assure you that this year protest that your petition will be carried to the chairman and to the commission and we are going to deliberate seriously on it. I make national chairman cannot be say one thing and do the other thing. Yes. 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 Section 51 of the electoral act as amended subsection 2 is clear about the situation in Okehi, Adafi, and Okele. Democracy has been murdered in Kogi State. Enough is enough. We are calling on the commission to do the needful. What is the needful? The result from Okene, 